Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone a virtual machine from a checkpoint or snapshot in Hyper-V. So this is the Hyper-V that you could run on Windows 10 or 11 Professional. Uh, you could also run it on Windows 10 or 11 Home if you do the little hack, which I'll put a link for in the description. So checkpoints are typically used to take a snapshot of the virtual machine at a particular point in time. So it saves the state of everything that's on the virtual machine, uh, everything in RAM and everything that's running. So we have just this basic Windows 11 VM here. So we want to clone this from a snapshot. So if you already have an existing snapshot, you could do it that way, but we're going to actually make a snapshot here and then clone the VM from that snapshot. So before we do that, let's make a new file here. Call this checkpoint. Got to get used to calling them checkpoints in Hyper-V instead of snapshots. All right, so when we clone it, if this file is there, we know it worked. Okay, so let's go back to the Hyper-V Manager here. I'll right click it, checkpoint. So production checkpoint has been created. And of course you could right click on it, rename it if you want. Like so. All right, so now that we have our checkpoint, you might have multiple checkpoints. You could use whichever one you want. So we're gonna have our checkpoint selected here. I'm going to go over to the uh, side menu here, click on export, click a location where we want to save the files. Okay, I have an exported VM folder here. We'll select this folder. All right, click on export. So this process may take a little time depending how big your virtual machine is. So if we go to that folder, so here's the Windows 11 Pro, virtual hard disks. So if you have something in these folders, then there's a good chance it's completed. So there's nothing in the virtual machines folder yet. So that means it's not done. So we'll have to pause and be back when it's finished. And also if you scroll over in the console here, you could see the status only 11%. So we'll have to pause the video and be back when it's finished. Okay, export is complete. Let's go back to the folder here. Now we have some files in the virtual machines folder as well as the virtual disks folder. Okay, so now that we have it exported, we will need to import it. So import virtual machine from the same location here. Okay, so, so I know it's in my export of VMs folder. You also have to add the name of the folder that it created during the export. Which is this guy here. Click on next. For our clone, it has the name of the checkpoint. Okay, so we don't want to use this first option here, register the virtual machine in place, because we already have a virtual machine with that same ID. And then we're not going to restore the virtual machine either, because we want to have a copy of it for our clone. So we're going to choose the copy option with a unique ID. All right, so you could choose where to have it stored. You could pick a different location. If you want to go with the defaults, you could just leave it alone. And then same thing for here. But if you do that, it's going to tell you you already have one there. So you're going to have to choose a different location for the virtual hard disk. So I'm just going to call this clone for the sake of something to name it, but you're probably going to want to name it something different to match what the virtual machine actually is. All right, so here's our summary. The virtual machine for our clone, where it's coming from. We're doing a copy. The configuration folder, checkpoint folder, and smart paging file are going in my default location. And then the virtual hard disk is going in this new clone folder, which obviously you would want to name to whatever the VM is going to be called. All right, so this might take a little bit of time as well here, so we'll have to pause for this. Okay, so the import is complete. So here is our clone called for our clone. So let's start it up here. All right, you can see it's running. Here is our checkpoint file. That matches our other virtual machine where we took the checkpoint from and then cloned it. 
Okay, so once again, just find the VM you want to clone or the snapshot. So of course, you know, it doesn't have to be the current state. It could be an older state of a snapshot that you want to create a new virtual machine with. So that's kind of the point here is that you don't have to clone the existing current state of the VM. You could clone an older state and make a VM. That comes in handy. Let's say you made some changes and you want to maybe revert the changes on your production VM, but you want to have those changes somewhere else on a different VM so you could play with them later. So you could therefore clone that checkpoint with those whatever specific changes. And that way you don't have to worry about messing with your primary virtual machine in case you want to maybe delete that checkpoint or go back to it and do something else, some other type of testing with it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.